It's been a year since the coronavirus pandemic closed the curtain on Broadway shows in New York and across the U.S. While shows around the world are slowly reopening, Broadway isn't expected to return to New York until at least June. The pandemic left nearly 100,000 people in the industry out of work, including everyone from actors and costume designers to ushers and concession stand workers. But with a target date to return on the horizon, producers are now working on refocusing attention back to the stage. Joining us now to talk more about that is CBS News Broadway contributor Lee Sheps. Lee, welcome. Great to have you with us. So what are some of the biggest challenges Broadway faces, you know, to getting not only these shows back up, but people back in the theaters? And what steps are being taken to reopen the industry safely? Yeah, it has been a devastating year for Broadway, that is for sure. While movies and TV shows have been able to resume production, Broadway has been at a standstill now for an entire year. That anniversary is coming up tomorrow on March 12th. The musical Six was supposed to have its opening night, but it did not. And that means thousands of people have been out of work, not only the performers on Broadway, but think about all the performers across the country at theaters around the country. And that includes behind the scenes workers as well. I'm talking about the box office staff. I'm talking about ushers, costume designers, stage managers. All of these people have been on unemployment. So it's truly been very hard for them. I've spoken to so many people this past year about the struggles and how they've had to pivot in order to make money for themselves. One stage manager I know started his own candle company out of his apartment. Another Broadway dancer launched a cookbook. Another Broadway dancer is now working to get her interior design degree. So she has that as a side hustle. Right now, the expected date for Broadway to return is May 31st. That is in two months. And so far, we haven't seen any steps that Broadway will reopen on that date. So it's likely going to be closer towards the fall, a lot of producers are predicting. And the president of the Broadway League, Charlotte St. Martin, you know, has said that even though venues, some venues in New York City can open at 10% capacity. Well, Broadway, it's just not worth it because the overhead is so expensive that these shows won't be able to recoup the same amount of money that they were making before the pandemic with only a limited amount of people in the theater. And when Broadway returns, think about it, it's going to be in stages. So we're going to have shows like Hamilton open and The Lion King open and Wicked open, but it's going to be at various stages, not all those Broadway theaters at once. And you have to think about what is this process going to be like? It's certainly not going to be from May 31st because first you have to recast all these shows. Some of the actors in these shows have moved on. They've moved to other cities I've seen over the past years. Some of them have outgrown the roles and they can't do them anymore. So then you have rehearsal, four to six weeks of rehearsal. Then you go into the theater for tech rehearsal. And then there's the preview performances. How long will those be? Because no one has done this for a year, so everyone has to start over from scratch. So it's going to be a long process, and what they're doing behind the scenes is working to make sure that it is safe and it's all done with the right timing in place. No doubt so much goes into getting Broadway back up and running. But over the past few months, theaters around the world and other parts of the world have been able to reopen shows safely. Why is that not the case here in the U.S.? What is helping drive that push overseas that we're not seeing here in the U.S.? Yeah, I mean, would you believe a production of Waitress just opened in Japan? There's even a production mm -hmm. of Frozen happening in Australia, and Hamilton is planning to open. All of these countries are ahead of the curve in terms of theater and live performances way further than the United States. It's interesting because even a few months ago, I moderated a panel with theater leaders around the world, and they were talking about how they were opening up these shows in Asia, and I couldn't believe how far ahead they were. It's like looking into the future about what we're going to see here in the U.S., and what I do know is that there are Broadway producers over there watching to see what they're doing um, in Australia with all these performances uh, and, and taking what they're learning there and bringing that back to the U.S. So it's audiences wearing masks, audiences being scattered into the theater, you know, not going in all at one time. It's QR codes to make sure that, you know, you're able to, you know, have records of everybody who's in the theater in case somebody does get sick. 
This is all being taken into consideration for when Broadway and theater can open here. We're not ready yet. They're waiting until it's safe. We're waiting right. until more people are vaccinated. Um, you know, and so that's what's happening. And as you pointed out, you know, some shows have decided to close while, while others are trying to come back. There must be new shows getting ready to hit the stage. Are they taking into account the fact, like you said, the overhead is so high for certain types of shows, like musicals and very lavish, with lavish sets and costumes, but maybe not so high for straight plays? So are they taking all of that into account so that they can try and mount the productions that have the best chance of being economically viable? Well, I, you know, I find that interesting because at the beginning of the pandemic, Frozen announced that it was closing. That was in May, and that is a huge, big budget show, right? That's Disney. And then in this past January, Mean Girls announced it's closing, another big uh, Broadway show. So you can't really look at, you know, where audiences would go because both of those shows were doing really well before the pandemic hit. I will say both of those shows did have touring companies um, that were touring, so perhaps those shows will just relaunch um you know around the country touring as opposed to just being in the theaters in new york city but you know other shows big shows haven't announced any closures just yet let's hope that they're able to survive all of this but talking about new shows the music man marquee went up a few months ago at the winter garden theater that show has been pushed back it's now not opening until 2022 at this point and then a really good sign we saw the marquee go up for a new Broadway play called Thoughts of a Colored Man. Uh, we have video of that. So it's just signs that Broadway is still here. We didn't forget about it. People are working on Broadway behind the scenes. And when Broadway returns, these marquees will be up and running so that people can go see the musical, like The Music Man, which will be a new show, and Thoughts of a Colored Man, which will be a play. It's certainly very symbolic to see a new marquee going up now uh, more than ever before. All right. Well, Lee Shaps, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.